with having a busy schedule from working and traveling, I wanted to make sure I show my mother some love this Mother's Day. She deserves to be given her flowers because she is the backbone in my back that keeps me going. I wanted to make sure she knew she was loved and appreciated, so I got her some Mother's Day gift sets from Dior and thank you so much Dior for sponsoring this video. Dior gift sets make it so simple with their gift sets apart from the stunning packaging. Along with the gift set order on Dior.com, you are able to make a personalized message that is complimentary with the set for an extra piece of thoughtfulness. Even though I'll never have enough words to express the love that I have for my mama, this is also a message she'll be able to keep forever. The Dior gift sets are beautifully wrapped so I didn't have to worry about that and I also love that Dior includes complimentary samples so my mom is able to figure out for future references what is for her and everything was perfectly packaged and I got my mom a couple gift sets in one so I wanted this to be combined and also I wanted to give her options so she was able to choose some everyday essentials I gifted her the beauty ritual mother's day gift set which includes the Dior Attic lip glow oil this product is one of my faves and I wanted to introduce this to her so she can keep her lips nice and hydrated and of course juicy and it also comes with a 1.1 ounce miss dior perfume and this is one of my faves y'all know i'm a perfume girly and of course i have to put my mom on the latest I got her the Makeup and Fragrance Mother's Day gift set, which consists of the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer to not only give her lips hydration, but to give her volume as well. And these Dior sets are the sets that keep giving because it also comes with the Miss Dior Bloom Bouquet. With this set, this spray comes in 3.4 ounces. I wanted her to have this size because it's her favorite and also another gem in my own perfume collection for that everyday feminine touch. And I couldn't just stop there. She loves hand cream, so I had to add the Dior J'adore La Adorables Hand, Nail, and Decolette Cream. And its packaging speaks for itself. Cute and compact and chic. It left her hands so soft and hydrated, and I know she's going to be using this every single day, especially on the go. Dior couldn't have made it any easier to show my appreciation this Mother's Day. From the personalized messages to the beautiful packaging, the samples, and the complimentary shipping. So be sure to check out these Mother's Day gift sets on Dior.com, available now to May 10th. They have everything that makes the perfect gift for this Mother's Day. So make sure to click the links in the description box below and show your mother, grandmother, or even your auntie and anyone special in your life some love and thoughtfulness. Gifting is an art, and these Dior gift sets are a craft you wouldn't even have to second guess your loved one is going to enjoy. And as long as my mom is happy and smiling, this is what matters the most to me. Several days later.
Hey y'all, it is a Sunday and I had a slow morning today and now I need to clean my house because I really haven't been feeling myself y'all. So um, I need to get back into a routine because right after I got back from the DR, it was literally on go, go, go. I had so much work to turn. Ugh, rude. I had so much work to turn in and look at my hair. Look at my eyebrows like look at me um yeah and my house definitely shows that and i'm just doing some led light therapy right now i was gonna do it on my face but i haven't really done it on my neck and you can only um do this with one device you can do it at the same time it's either gonna be your neck or your face so i'm gonna do it for the whole time that i clean on my neck just to get that red light therapy in but yeah y'all I just have so much to do and that dr trip i feel like it wasn't even a vacation for real i was like half working on the trip and then also the weather was terrible that's why that vlog was so short because i could barely vlog and everybody was like oh my god i thought it was gonna get more content like there was nothing to take content of if the weather isn't good and i'm not doing anything <sighs> but yeah i have to pick up my house every single room is a mess every single room i try to contact my cleaning lady she's already booked and busy this weekend so i was like you know what i'm gonna just go ahead and do it myself so we're gonna start with the biggest mess of them all which is my beauty room it's horrible it's disgusting i'm a slow unpacker i will literally leave my clothes here for days <laughs> and not pick them up but it's time girl so we're gonna start with this room first and i actually had a few packages um hey y'all and kylie sent me her jeans she just came out with some new a new drop in their jeans and they're so freaking soft i really want to order the right pair she sent me this crop shirt which i need to order in white because this is like the perfect crop t-shirt because it's one of those crop tops that really take your waist in. I feel like I have a freaking neck brace on. Oh yeah, y'all. And Fenty and Puma sent me um, the Fenty collab with Rihanna's shoes. But let me show y'all these jeans. But these jeans are so soft. And I thought I told them the size that I originally wore. They sent me a 29. I need like a 32. I had to cut around the waist just so I can pull it up over my butt. And I was like, oh my God, please fit, please fit. Because I really like how these feel. They're super soft. And also, I want to look into the rag and bone sweatpants jeans. And these are the Fenty and the Puma collab. I love this colorway. She said she wanted it to be very minimalistic so you'll be able to travel and pair them with so many outfits, which I love. I got the neutral color and I think there's like a a dark taupey color that i seen she was wearing um the day of the launch at the launch party and yeah these are giving very much street style and new york comfy and i can't wait to style those but i have so many packages <sighs> i'm just trying to brace myself so i'm just gonna get started because i have so much and yeah i'm just i'm just trying to get my life
Somehow we gotta find a way No matter how many miles it takes I know it feels so good right now But it all come falling down When the night meet the light Turn the day Can't stop, then you won't stop I know just how that feel When you're on top, till the ball drop You never seen it be so real It feels so good right now But it all come falling down When the night meet the light Feel it a little, feel it a lot I'm swimming a bit but deeper in thought Keeping my head on top of my shoulders Into some shit, I'm out of the box This is the level I'm on, need it all right now and forever we're gone, baby the weather is strong Whether it's hot or cold, we're coming knocking on your door Well I'ma, I'ma maintain, I'm saying so Gotta roll the way up till we touch the sky And you know you're dead wrong, you in love with a lie All I, all I, all I wanna do is free your mind We don't see no lines, we don't color a side It's a very small world, we don't fuck with the size yeah, See the bigger picture when it's beneficial Love and how it you blow the whistle when you run out of time yeah. Waking up, I open up my eyes Do you mind if I blow your mind? A little closer, baby, don't be shy Why you worried that it's gonna be fine? I guess that kind of thing Hey y'all, so I'm about to be on my way to the grocery store because there's a few items that I need to get. Um, I don't know if y'all been following me for a minute now, but ever since I like stopped my sugar intake, I've really been making my meals at home. So I'm about to go to the grocery store because I don't have nothing ever since I came from the DR. The fridge has been low. So I'm about to stock up on some things and also I want to put y'all on my favorite protein muffins my mama put me on i made them when i was back in wisconsin and they are so good and i've been watching nara smith yeah from scratch and i'm really inspired she always makes this blueberry paste so i kind of want to put the blueberry paste on top of the blueberry protein muffins are y'all comprehending do it do it make sense uh, and then i'm gonna make dinner for tonight and then it is a date night with the babes so we want to go see the challengers movie the news and day movie and it's been so long since i've been to the movies and normally i've been he's always wants to spend quality time with me because we spend time together but he knows the difference between quality time and like just seeing each other so he's like oh we haven't sit, spent time together we need to go on a date and i always push things off because i'm so busy i gotta work but tonight we're going on a date so i can't wait i'm excited because i haven't been to the movies and y'all know i'm a movies girl let's get to the stove so i can hurry up and get back because i just finished working and that closet y'all i showed y'all my closet yesterday i did not get to my closet but hopefully later on <laughs> during the week i can get to it but i really need somebody to come and do a closet clean out and help me because it's just uh i hate when it gets like this and i just really feel like i'm outgrowing my space and it's getting too much and also y'all i am gonna do a instagram giveaway i've been getting a lot of pr lately okay i'm a little overwhelmed with it so i'm like i need to do a giveaway because i'm already due for my instagram giveaway so make sure y'all follow me on instagram so you'll see the details for that and if the giveaway isn't announced yet let me know what else i should add i'm just gonna make a combination of whole of a whole bunch of pr gifts that i've been getting gifted and just put it like all in one care package maybe i might make two i don't know but maybe one but yeah so make sure y'all are following me on instagram but anywho i'm about to be on my way so let go oh and i'm feeling this lovers and friends little sweater hoodie thing let go Curious, 
shot is what I'm here for. So I just got home and I showered and I want to put y'all on something I've been doing lately. Um, so my mom put me on to the castor oil game. Like she ordered me castor oil a long time ago, but I just never used it. But y'all, to help with inflammation. So I put it on my belly. I'm putting it on my stomach. And right now um, I'm putting it on my chin. So I'm just doing my um, Foreo bear device and then also Gua Sha. And this is the 100% pure certified organic castor oil. So I'm keeping this in my bathroom for now on because I just want to apply castor oil on my body at night and it has so many benefits. I was like, you know what? I can use castor oil while I Gua Sha and face contour. So I'm just taking it and it's gliding on perfect. And also this helps with acne, hyperpigmentation, a whole bunch of stuff, girl. So I just take my gua sha and I'm gonna do this for like five minutes. And I just really want a chiseled jawline, especially with the summertime coming up. And I feel like at night is the perfect time to apply this as well, just so my body can work while I sleep and y'all know I do LED light therapy and all that so I'm just really trying to incorporate this stuff all in my daily routines I know I wash out before and like obviously I have all the face contour devices but I'm just never consistent and obviously consistency is key so I really want to be consistent and also I want to make sure I get my neckline as well so my lymphatic drainage can be activated and I believe the castor oil activates the lymphatic system if I'm not mistaken. I just really want like that chiseled structures in my face, you know? And I really want, and I'm gonna start wood therapy on my stomach soon as well too. I got all the tools my mom ordered me that stuff a long time ago, but I'm gonna probably start that. Mm. So I'm gonna start that too, but I wanna get good at it first before I take y'all along with me on the journey but I guess we can start early let me know what y'all want me to do down in the comments do y'all want me to just as I learn y'all learn too or do y'all want to wait until like I'm an expert and then show y'all let me know okay and then now I'm just gonna take my bear device I have the new face too but I like the bear device way better because I feel like this device really works and I'm also going to take this along my face and you already know uh, castor oil has benefits for the hair as well but I haven't been using it on my hair get y'all some castor oil to lessen the inflammation and if y'all have used castor oil before on y'all stomach, let me know how it's going, how it's the journey, how it's the process. And I just do this until this beeps that it's done. And this, my face is asymmetrical, y'all. <laughs> and this side of my face is more fatter, has more fat than this side of my face. That's why this is my good side. 
so i just really want to work on the face that has more fat so i can really get a chiseled jawline so i can be cute at any, any angle you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying like it don't hurt <laughs> but if you have a symmetrical face i envy you because baby not over here So we are done and I'm just going to work the castor oil into my face and I'm going to sleep a grease monkey and I'm going to put some on my lips. My lips have been extra dry lately and on my eyebrows. Oh my god. My eyebrows definitely need this y'all because <laughs> I, as y'all can tell in the, the other clips, y'all can tell my eyebrows are so much lighter and it looks like they're trying to grow back or something it's like a white undertone so it's giving scalp on my eyebrows i don't know it's weird so i got um eyebrow tinting and i was allergic to the tint but i knew i was allergic um but i'm not allergic to lamination just the tint because i can't use ppd products on like hair dyes and stuff but anyways so she ended up doing that and it ended up damaging my eyebrows but it's nobody's fault like she's laid my eyebrows she's so good i can't wait to go back and i was like girl i need a ppd free dye and she was like oh my god i'm on it <laughs> so yeah my eyebrows definitely need that for sure and then my lashes are growing so well but yeah y'all castor oil at night for the routine
again um earlier today this morning i wanted to go walk the belt line but it was raining outside in great atlanta fashion there was a new coffee shop i wanted to go to so uh, we just went ahead and did that and then also we just walked around there's so many parts in atlanta that i don't know about like i haven't you know discovered yet so decided to do that that's why i like walking the belt line because there's so many restaurants and so many things that I've never tried or anything like that. So it's just nice to explore and get, you know, 
refreshed with a new area. So, like I said, my man is like, I want to take you on a date tonight. Da -da -da. So, we're doing that tonight. But before I do that, I've been really craving something sweet. And if y'all been following me, y'all know I've been staying away from sugar. Y'all, I don't even remember the last time I had a cookie or a piece of cake. And I really want to go to a uh, crumble cookie and get the Thres Leches because they have the family size right now for a second day a week. But I'm not. So anyway, so I'm about to make these high protein muffins and I'm about to put y'all on because they're so good and I'm going to have them for the rest of the week. So I'm kind of like going to meal prep them in a way. So let me put y'all on. I got all the ingredients out and the main ingredient in here is cottage cheese. That's what makes them high protein. And then all the ingredients will be listed down below. Yesterday we had this Mongolian beef, y'all. It was so good. Like, me and Bae just been finding these high-protein meals to make. So, we've been making them, and they taste so good and delicious. And I haven't even, I don't even remember the last time I had a meal outside. I guess it was at the resort, but most of the time we cook our own food, which I like. Because I'm trying to stay away from... No. What the... My robe tail keeps tickling me and I feel like it's a spider. Along the ride and also I was posting like some recipes and stuff that I made um, throughout the weeks and y'all are like recipe, recipe, recipe. So let me know if y'all want me to make like a what I eat in a day or something like that. Um, Cause I definitely will wanna make something like that. And I said, I seen a comment. Somebody asked me to make a video like that, but let me know if that is something y'all are interested in because I can definitely just keep them in the vlogs, but I won't make a separate video. But anyways, so we have our blender. So I just like to blend everything in a blender so it's easier for me. So let me get the recipe. Wait, let me pre-eat the oven because I need to put it on at 375. I cannot wait to go see this Challengers movie. I've been seeing mixed reviews about it. And y'all, Kendrick Lamar snapped on his diss track to Drake. I didn't even listen to Drake's diss track. Like, I don't, like, Drake is cool, but I'm not, like, a hard fan for Drake. Like, he's too light-skinned for me. Um, but, yeah, Kendrick Lamar, he definitely snapped. But, anyways, let me go to these instructions. Okay. So, we need one fourth cup of coconut oil, the melted version. My mom put me on this one. This is Nature's Way liquid coconut oil, or you can just use regular coconut oil and just melt it. Last time I made these, I was at my main house, and he doesn't have measuring cups, so I had to just eyeball everything, and they came out pretty good. And he really enjoyed them, so I'm going to make them again. So, one fourth cup of coconut oil or you can use butter whatever you prefer um and i use coconut sugar and this is the brand that i use this this is not refined sugar it's just a better like an alternative version to sugar and don't mind my hair y'all i'm overdue for an appointment but i'm just trying to stick it out Ooh. one teaspoon of vanilla extract and I use the Watkins Pure Vanilla Extract. This brand. One cup of plain cottage cheese. And I like to use Organic Valley or Good Culture. One fourth cup of milk, two eggs. Get in there. Are you over there making that delicious uh, goodness? <laughs> what are you cooking? Huh? What are you cooking? What are you preparing? Remember when I made you those muffins? Right. That's what I'm making you. You were just so sweet. You know that? Yes. Just like you. Mm. Sweetie potato. You're crazy. Crazy about you. <laughs> One half cup of purpose. Do you want some? Yes, absolutely. You do? 
How bad? So bad. I just need to just quench my test. Your test? My test. You know, I'm testing. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm testing. I don't have, I don't have any drink. Oh, you need something to drink. Yeah, Babe, you know your you way you be speaking sometimes I can't understand you. I don't know why you can understand me. Talk like a regular human being. No, you don't. Let's talk like. Huh? Let's talk, talk like like a like an Atlanta gangster. No, please stop. We don't. Even, they don't even say gangsters. And this is the flour that I use. You need 1.5 cups of flour, and this is the. Red Hill one one to one baking flour and this is gluten free. This is probably about 1.5. Okay, and then I just need one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. Alright, alright, alright. And then what we got next? Then I need to put one half teaspoon of cinnamon. That should be good. Now we're just gonna mix this and then I'm gonna put the muffins in the tin and then we're gonna bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. So, let's go. Must be Give me that special 
So the muffins are done. So we have blueberry in this column, strawberry in chocolate chip. And these chocolate chips are Lily chocolate chip baking chips. They're sugar free. And then I just have regular chocolate chip. Look how good these look. Mm so good y'all and then i'm gonna butter um them up with like some melted butter oh my god it's so good and then these are just bananas and on the instructions you have to um uh, uh, flour up the blueberries but i tried to do that with these strawberries and i should never did that this is my first time making it with strawberry but as y'all can see you can kind of see the flour still but that's okay but they still look really good. So let's do a taste test. Bola, bola. How much is money? Nothing. All right, so I'm about to butter the muffin up with this Mykonos um, unsalted plant milk butter. This is the butter that I use. Every time I use this, it smells like popcorn because I melt butter on the stove top to make my toast. But anyways, that's beside the point. So, I have the blueberry chocolate chip. She looks so delicious. And I just go ahead and put the butter right in the middle. I'm making a mess. Hold on one second. And y'all, I have the kettle going because I'm about to make me a cup of tea before I go to sleep. Because it's about that soy. Look how good that looks. Mm. Taste test. Mm. Oh my god. Muffin is so good. If y'all want, but yeah, y'all, if y'all want y'all a sweet dessert that is high in protein, it's not even dessert, just something sweet. Because you can have these in the morning for breakfast as like a a breakfast meal like a quick on the go one too that's what i was doing when i first had these when i was in wisconsin but anyway it's about my bedtime so i'm about to make my tea enjoy one more muffin just one more and i'm about to watch um i'm re-watching pea valley right now and also i'm watching the circle and oh my god y'all did y'all watch the reindeer that lady is crazy okay she is nuts but i literally watched that whole series in one day i was so i was drawn in and oh my god that that scene that episode y'all know what episode i'm talking about it was really intense and i was like whoa i wasn't expecting that i kind of was though you kind of can tell a little bit i was speculating it but i really wanted him to be with keely but he wants to be with martha but anyways, yeah, that series is crazy. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about that series and what are y'all watching recently? I've been watching 90 Day Fiance, um, my HBO shows. I've been watching The Circle on Netflix. Um, also, Netflix has been coming out with some really good movies. Um, I watched J Jennifer, what Jennifer did. That was, you know, true crime stuff. Rebel Moon is really good. The part one and part two and i was looking up some reviews and people did not like part one and i enjoyed it at first i was like eh but then it got real good like to the action parts and i was like oh yeah this is spicy i kept watching it and then i was like oh part two part two absolutely it's so good to me i love movies like that anyway so yeah, let me know what y'all been watching because I need a new some shows to watch. So yeah, I'm re-watching P-Valley because I seen they finna come out with season three where they're working on it. So I was like, let me refresh my memory. And then, yeah, those other series. But yeah, let me know what y'all watching so I can tune in. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to go to sleep. And let me know if y'all try these muffins. I'm about to have a banana one. Uh, it just looks like so good. The banana one, 10 out of 10. Oh my God, so good.
this.